we are going to add blocking and unblocking of a user and this one can be done by admin only so let's get into it we are going to add a field called is blocked on the user model which is this one and here i will say is blocked and it's going to be of type boolean by default it is false so we are going to create two controllers one controller is going to block the user and one is going to be unblocked or what the controller is going to do is just to update the value from false to true and true to false let's get into the controllers of users and you're gonna add one more controller called block user let me place it down here as that and i will say block user which is equal to block user is equal to async handler then pass in the async rec and response and here we go in here we are going to find the user by id and we can get it from the params or from the request body and here i'm gonna access it on the rec dot body let me destructure the user id so let's find the user as const user is equal to await user dot find by id supposed to be find by id and update and the id can be found on the user id and then i want to update is blocked to true and then pass new to true for this one we have done it many times so in case we don't have the user we will say that res dot status by providing 404 meaning not found and message as user not found else res dot json message user successfully blocked and let me send the username as username supposed to be user dot username and let me send is blocked is equal to user dot is blocked and let's have one for unblocking copy this paste and here as unblock as supposed to be block yeah this one and unblock so in here everything remains the same with the exception of the is block to true to false and change this one to unblocked and that is it so let's create the route in the router here for user this one let's have one let me copy one of these and change this one to put method and here as block dash user as block user and on block user change this one to on block user and that is it but for this one unless you are an admin before you can block or unblock a user so we have to create a middleware to check that 
but for the meantime let's just protect it so let's get over here let's fetch all users we don't have the controller for fetching all users so let's check in our db i think i have deactivated my mongodb let me see let me enable it and connect main block users i want to block thomas no agnes no alice okay i want to block alice so if you check on the field of alice we're gonna have is blocked being set to false so i want the id only so let me create one controller for block user and the endpoint here is block dash user and remove the id and all what i need is to pass in the user id and let me paste that all right so let's try and we got 200 and this user has been blocked let me copy and paste for unblock let me add user at the end and let's look at the endpoint it is unblock change this one to unblock and i want to unblock alice and alice has been unblocked now it is time for us to implement this one on the front end let's continue in the next video